what is the value of Misha in Honkai Star Rail? Is he really a totally trash unit and has no purpose in this game whatsoever? I personally don't think so. I think there's one thing that a lot of people that maybe don't have him built. I have him at level 80 out of 80 with decent amount of tracers in him. I will show you exactly what I think makes him special and as well i'll share with you my thoughts in a little bit as well but you know we don't waste time on this channel so i have everything prepared over here already and i'm just going to show you exactly what he does so you take a look at this all right this is the enemy boss here and he has a uh, quite a large amount of weakness left to break unlike other characters if you can see if i just do like this basic attack here on this boss this is the amount of weakness it chunks down if i go here and press e here it chunks down about this much and most characters in the game are about the same with the exception of uh, weakness break enhancing characters for example like Ron Maze on the field for example like Xue Yi and etc etc now I'm gonna go ahead and press his out here real quick and you can see how quickly these things are absolutely just destroys the weakness breaking of this character and we'll talk about what it means in a bit too let me just slow it down to one time speed and let's take a look So if you watch that, you can see that every single hit that is done, for those of you who have no idea what he does, his ability here, if you see the talent passive here, uh, you gain like stacks every time your teammates use a skill point and his out has up to 10 stacks. Those dropping of like the luggages and whatever not in the animation actually goes all the way up to 10, like Jing Yuan in a similar fashion, but every hit breaks enemy weaknesses which means you absolutely shred the enemy's resistances with the other uh, weakness breaking so so easily it went down from like how much was this like i think it was like 80 75 percent maybe all the way down to zero granted run is on the team but of course we still had more luggages dropping even though it hit zero so an uh, insane amount of weakness breaking for this particular unit and uh, now let's go ahead and head into the screen and i want to share with you a bit more about what i think so the thing that makes him special out of all of them, if you go over here and filter for the ice characters in the game, if you are looking for ice freezer, you have a few options. You have the likes of Mark 7, which is a pretty decent freezer. You have Japat, pretty decent on his own. Uh, other characters like, of course, Jing Liu uh, is a pretty... If you wait, weakness break them, Yan Xing has like some freeze if you follow up and whatnot. Um, other than that, none of them have like a freeze inbuilt in them. So your real options are like Japat, Yan Xing, much or Misha. So if you are looking for a freeze, out of all of the ice characters, other than for example Ranmei who buffs weakness break efficiency, um, Misha does it best. You shred absolutely the entirety of the enemy's weaknesses. Uh, of course, if there's no additional enemies on the field, because his attack is not AOE, one thing to know is a single hit of the enemy. So if you have like one big boss that's weak to ice, entirely annihilated, you freeze the enemy, so like stopping them in time which I think what the developers were trying to go for his overall design is going to be like a character that stops the enemies in their tracks. So in a sense, that's how they plan to do it with like freeze and stuff like that. Stopping time. Very, very thematic in terms of how they are trying to be poetic together with what he is in his lore as well. So that is overall like how his kit works and what I think makes him special apart from the other ice characters. How you actually capitalize on this, I think there are two ways. If you are looking for an extremely strong freezer, one thing to note is that this is not just a freeze unit. He At E2, which is pretty affordable for a, a four-star character, you most of you can get it in like two banner cycles and stuff like that, where he's on the banner, you will have access to this defense breaking by 16%, which means he becomes not only a freezer, a slight damage dealer because his multipliers are actually pretty good. Now you have 10% multiplied, 10 times multiplied by this 45 uh, percent damage that he does and Amai is only at like level 5 so if like level 10 I think goes up to like 60 600% attack multiplier which is extremely massive on a single target if you're fighting at the same time he also has the ability to reduce enemy defenses which is pretty in insane like 16% uh, reduction and I think one of his tracers if I'm not wrong also does additional benefits um, for one of them let me just see which one is this Okay, he has like some self-energy refund with an extremely low amount of burst cost here, as you can see, like 100. Let me just see whether it's other Eidolons. I remember he had something else that was useful for someone else. Okay, it was the E6 here. So you get like some skill point refund. So you help maintain his skill point efficiency as well so that um, he can his teammates can help him build more stacks. 100% burst cost, very, very low. Even a character that bursts super often, which is, for example, like Serval, is already one is also exactly the same like 100 for him so it'll be very very easy to like have a one turn burst rotation especially if you have like maybe ho ho on the team one funnel together with maybe uh, a skill point guzzler and stuff you will find you will do tons and tons of damage 
So good teams with him, definitely we can of course think about Ranmei with uh, the weakness break efficiency that are available. Silver Wolf is another strong candidate as well. Huo Huo as great supports for him if you're looking to build him as a DPS character. Um, the one that comes to mind intuitively, a lot of people will think about, we will do more of a build guide video later on, maybe closer to when Sparkle is released or tomorrow or the next few days. Um, Imbibitor Lune, of course, a lot of people are thinking about him uh, just to, to guzzle the skill points so you can funnel into him. I don't think it's really necessary for Misha to be on the same tier as Imbibitor Lune, but definitely if you're planning to run them together, you, you might want to have Sparkle first. So you can run like Imbibitor Lune, Sparkle, Misha if you wanted that freeze on the enemy. Because if you have like the, the freeze, I think it's uh, pretty decent to help stop the enemies from attacking you too much as well. Uh, but yeah, those are my thoughts on Misha. That's what I think he does special other than the, the many other things, of course, destruction characters do. Do I think he's an A tier, S tier character? I don't think so. But his niche definitely can be fulfilled if you're looking for an icebreaker to stop enemies in the tracks. He does good amounts of damage on the side with like 450% uh, multiply at level 5. Goes up to way more than that. Uh, at the same time, he also is able to do... Uh, kind of like self-sufficient because you have that energy refund you have defense breaking in his e2 as well so some sort of uh, sustain his kid draw some aggro so people will hit him more than your other squishy characters and yeah if you appreciate such straight to the point content tripping on my words here do like and subscribe for more of such future videos i found you i hope you found this video helpful as well and we'll be doing more content on misha once i of course get his traces up a little bit these are not the relics i recommend or like cones it's just for the demonstration but thank you guys so much for watching and see you in the next video